In this brief video, we'll be looking at the quick workflow for how to find the most critical pipes within a generalized fire flow analysis within our InfoWater Pro hydraulic modeling software. So who is this video specifically for? It's for, of course, hydraulic modelers who are doing this analysis. It's for a city staff that might be trying to look at CIP planning and planning around uh, shutdown requirements for different projects and, and what infrastructure is most critical for emergency preparedness. It's for those GIS professionals who become hydraulic modelers and wear multiple hats. And it's of course for engineering service providers, engineering consultants who are looking for a value add to those master planning and emergency preparedness efforts that they are delivering to their clients. Again, we'll be looking at all of this workflow today within InfoWater Pro. And the workflow you can see there on the right is basically four and a half simple steps. So the first step is going to be to run the fire flow analysis. We assume that your model is, already has the ability to run a standard fire flow analysis. And we're gonna make sure that the generate model output option is turned on so we get as much information as possible for our participating junctions. Next, we're going to export that information uh, to a CSV file. We're gonna be sure to export all pages and here's where we're gonna generate tons of different information because we selected that generate model output. Uh, and then we're going to use Excel's pivot table tool to take all of those fire flow simulations that we now have access to for every pipe within our network there. And we are gonna use that information to generate and export graphs and results. So once we have all this information in one place, we can sum the fire flow requirements on all different scenarios for a single pipe and compare its criticality to other pipes within our model. All right, so now we're going to go through those same steps I just described within the actual InfoWater Pro uh, model here. So first things first, I am going to come over to my Model Explorer window, select the Run Manager there, and we are going to run a fire flow analysis. So uh, again, this can be a standard fire flow analysis. You don't have to make it a design fire flow. It can be very basic where you're just looking at residual pressure. And you're going to come and double check Edit Fire Flow uh, data here and you're going to make sure that this generate model output field here up in the top right is yes for all amounts. So this is going to make sure we generate uh, additional data for all of our participating junctions here. You can simply block edit and make sure everything is yes there instead of no so that we add all of that additional information. All right once I run that fire flow analysis here you can come to the report manager and open up your Fire flow, fire flow, pipe report is what we want to select here because we want to be evaluating the criticality of our most valuable kind of pipe assets, if you will. And so here, because I added that generate model output option, I'm getting all of this information for, again, all of my pipes uh, in, in, in granular detail here. So I'm going to take this information now and I am going to export it to CSV, export to CSV right there. Export to CSV, I'm going to select everything there and I'm going to go ahead and export that out onto my desktop in this case. All right, so I'm gonna export that there. And eventually I'm gonna get this prompt. Do you wanna open the exported file? Yes, absolutely, we would love to do that. We're gonna open that exported file there and it should open in your Excel. All right, once that export from InfoWater Pro is complete, you should see a table that looks like this. It looks very similar to that Fireflow pipe output report within InfoWater Pro. Uh, however, you do have these two additional columns over here. So this page number is really representing the hydrant IDs. You can see how this number repeats here because it's repeating to really get all of the pipe ID information because we're evaluating uh, each of these fire flow scenarios for each of these pipes. So you've got a lot of data in here. We don't need quite all of this information. I'm gonna delete some of these fields here uh, because you know maybe you wanna keep this head loss information, extra information, but it's not terribly necessary to this criticality uh, analysis we're doing where we wanna see, kind of sum up all these values from flow or average out the average velocity uh, depending on the fire flow event here or regardless of the fire flow event. So once we have these fields selected here, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of those, come back up to the top and say insert pivot table from that particular range. Okay, and then I can make the pipe ID my rows and then the flows or flows and velocities maybe as the values here. So I could change this here to maybe 
you know, something like average here. I might change the sum of flows to be more of the absolute value uh, so that all of those are positive and, and really sum up there. But that, that's the general idea of how you could start to use the pivot table to get some analysis there. So once you've cleaned up this pivot table analysis, it might look something more like uh, this example here where I've got my pipe ID, the sum of the absolute value of those different fire flows here. I've got my uh, average velocity here. I also might be looking at in this case here. So I've, I've got those kind of lined up so I can look at the top 10 most critical uh, emergency pipes for fire flow preparedness here. And then once you have this information, uh, one another option is to tie this back into InfoWater Pro. So here I actually have a map display where I'm looking at those pipes uh, on my GIS in InfoWater Pro and looking at that in terms of CIP planning, emergency preparedness and analysis there. All right, so with that quick and easy workflow, hopefully you're seeing some of the benefits of being able to identify and quickly report on some of the most critical assets within your particular water distribution network. Uh, I believe this workflow really enhances emergency preparedness efforts. It highlights some of the compatibility of InfoWater Pro and its tabular uh, style database with you know, commonly used reporting tools like Excel. Uh, certainly this is a value plan for any engineering service providers or consultants helping with master planning efforts. And we hope you found this workflow valuable uh, to your work and are able to use it in the future. Thanks everyone.